Hi everyone, um, I'm back today with another unboxing and today I'm unboxing the April 2017 edition of Birchbox UK and this um, month's Birchbox is in association with Borden, I think it's Borden, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, it's a clothing brand, um, do beautiful women's and children's clothing, um, florals, flippy skirts, really cute, a certain style I think you've got to be for Borden but it's really classic good quality um all british made and so on so really good brand um is it british i think it might be british it might not be british if i remember rightly when i used to, i haven't had a catalogue from a long time from them but it used to be a bit of french in them so maybe it's i don't know i, I don't know so take that back maybe it's not british but I, it seems like it would be british because of the classic styling but anyway it's lovely um and the box is an association with Borden, so it's a beautiful floral print box um which is really to my taste um beautiful floral print with a little red draw so the drawers are back this month um it's full of daisies which i absolutely adore i really love daisies um and yeah um i love the draw style boxes i've got a few of these now so i think what i'm going to do is probably stick them together so i can stack them um, and either use them for craft or for makeup um probably makeup um, we'll see though, but this one is beautiful. That is just so me. Love that one. Anyway, it's not all about the box, so let's see what's inside. First of all, we've got a bit of paper. And it is a £10... It is British. It says New British on there. So obviously they are British. Um, so it says New British, a £10 gift voucher. And believe it or not, there's the top in the same print as the box. So I'm definitely going to have a look at that because I do love that print. Um, and it's a £10 gift voucher. Um, blah, 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 blah. Valid until May 31st, 2017. Um, yeah, so £10 gift voucher. Um, and then it's there's a competition. Win a Borden voucher and birch box beauty tricks by beauty treats by posting a picture or something of your box and then we've got what's in your box so let's see what's in the box first thing oh right this is interesting because I've read a few bits and pieces about this um, this is a full size nip and fab color correcting concealer now nip and fab um, I like the skincare things I love their exfoliating glycolic pads um, and I'm, I'm trying some bits of that kale range as well. Um, and they've just launched a makeup range and it's selected super drugs. And I've seen a little bit about this. And this is the colour corrector. And this is the peppermint shade. Now this is the full size, um, which is £8.95 worth. Now I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. So I'm going to try. It's got plastic surrounding it, which I think might reflect. Basically. Give it a little switch. Basically, it's a peppermint toned concealer. Um, I think there must be others to choose from because there's the picture of four. And what it says is, um, what? Who knew that concealers didn't have to be flesh coloured? Well, anybody who really knows anything about makeup, but we'll go past that. This new makeup pre-step uses colour to enhance your complexion and balance imperfections. Just lay your base products on top. The orange shade brightens dark circles, the yellow acts as a highlighter, the green neutralises blemishes or red patches and the purple eliminates yellow undertones. So this is the green, which is fine for me because I have blemishes and redness, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to take this off and see how if it's just a squeezy tube or not. <sighs> packaging, packaging, packaging. Oh. Can I find the bin? No. Um, so, yeah. Oh, it's a brush. It's actually a brush. Brush applicator at the end. So that looks quite good. I think it seems to be all base products, what I've seen, but I'm, I'll definitely give that a go. Um, I've had mixed experiences with green concealer in the past. I had a primer from Boots Number no. 7 that was green. And to be honest, it made me look like a motion. It didn't matter how little I put on, it still looked green. And it's supposed to blend in and it just didn't. Um, so that's that. Anyway, um, I'll give that definitely give that a go. Um, because, as I say, I have blemishes and redness. Right, what next? We'll go for the thing in the plastic. Now, I think this was the product you had to choose from. There was two products you could choose from. From a brand called Manacadar Beauty. And this more plastic, I'll take that off, 
Um, I chose, I think there was a, was it a, con was, that, was it a highlight, a bronze, a concealer colour or maybe a highlight in bronze. I know I'd seen pictures of it, I can't honestly remember now, but it was a, a two-toned product, that was the other choice. But I'm obsessed with face powder and I can't get this open. Is it wrong to use my teeth? No, thankfully, I'm in there, I'm in a gap. Right, and this is the Manicador Beauty, and this is the HD Perfecting Powder. So, that's what it looks like. And as you can see, it's just like a sort of whitey, creamy colour, and it's got a sort of reptile-esque imprint on it. So that looks interesting. Basically, pressed HD face powder, finishing powder. And I'll see what it says. The Amanakada Cosmetics full size, full size. That's a really small full size. Um, okay, fair enough, full size. Um, Manakada High Definition Powder, recommended retail price £27. That is really quite small. That cannot be full size. I'll put below, I'll check it and double check it below and have a look at the description bar below and I'll let you know if this is a full size. Um, what day, when, for days when you're less about the dewy look and more about keeping your makeup on lockdown, today, because it's boiling, um, this velvet finish HD powder creates a beautiful matte finish. Simply dust all of your face at the areas you want to set using a fluffy brush. Um, I can't wait to try that, but I honestly can't believe that that's a full size because that is really small. Um, I'm going to have a little fiddle to see how big it is. I'm sorry for the sirens in the background. I don't know if you can hear them, but I don't know what's going on. No, can't do it. But I'll anyway, I'll let you know in the description box if that's a full size, a bit size, or it really is that small. But that's really not very big. It's about an eyeshadow compact, which you expect a bit bigger for a powder, but never mind. Never mind, never mind. Right, what next? Polar Ice Pure Gentle Scrub with Arctic Cotton. So it is a face scrub from Polar. I've had something from them before. I think, I'm sure there was an eye product in a previous box. Um, Ice Pure Gentle Scrub with Arctic Cotton. And this is a 25 mil size. Um, never heard of Arctic Cotton. It's a powerhouse ingredient known for its moisturization properties, meaning that this double action exfoliator smooths and softens. Apply a wet skin using circular motions and rinse away with warm water. Nope, it's got a thing on. I would show you, but as I say, if I'm not going to use something straight away, I don't really want to open it. So a face scrub, basically. That's that. Next. Now, I've had a product from this range before, and I don't know if it's the same one. Um, it's the Paolo by Jeff Chastain Volumizing Lifting Spray. Now, I've had a, po a product from this brand before because I remember the bottle, but I don't know if it's the same one, so um, I might have to check back and, you know, have a look at that. But it's a Volumizing Lifting Spray. Um, basically, volume, which sometimes I don't need. Some, I, sometimes I try I, 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 every bit of volume out and sometimes I need it. So, um, very interesting. I'll definitely give that a go. Um, I will double check to see if that is a product that I've already got though. For days when your hair falls flat, this innovative spray from new NYC stylist Jeff Chastain provides height and volume in a jiffy. Plus it nourishes and strengthens hair with sweet almond oil and biotin. Spray directly onto roots of partially dried hair and finish styling as usual. It's also heat protector spray as well, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, definitely see what that is and give that a go. Um, as I say, I'm, I'm sure I've got something pretty similar to that somewhere. I've tried that something that from that brand. And the final product, I know I've had in a previous box because I loved it then and I think I'm going to love it again now. It is the, ba ba it's spelled B-A-I-G-A -A Paris. So it's, is it Baja or is it Baya? I don't know. Creme, Man Creme Man Manoa in Fleur de Tiare. Um, and this is a 30ml size and it is the Tiari Flower Body Lotion. 
and in its simplest terms I bloody love this stuff. I got this, I'm sure it was in my little box this came in. Um, when your skin needs TLC, the super nourishing lotion will save the day. A blend of shea and cup of cow butter as coconut oil jojoba wax offer immediate relief to dry patches for baby soft skin. Massaging a clean dry skin a little goes a long way. Now if this is what I think it is, which I'm almost sure it is, then the smell of this is simply out of this world. I love this stuff. And I can't... Yep, yeah, that's the stuff. Basically, if you like anything from the Elemis Exotic Frangipani range, if you like um, anything with Minois, sort of really tropical flowers like Jasmine or Gardenia, then you will absolutely love this. <clears throat> I'm a fan of all of that. I love Jasmine, I love Gardenia. Um, I love the Elemis Tahitian Tiari line. And that's exactly what this smells like. It is blooming lovely. It's heady floral, but it's kind of a bit sexy, but it's calming at the same time. That's what it looks like. And I'm just going to rip this in. It's beautiful. It's very heady, a little bit overpowering. I think some people might find I'm not one of them. That is so good. Right, I'm well pleased. I've definitely had a tube of this. I think it was from my little box, as I say. But I'm very impressed with that. Love that. Um, it's paraben free as well, if that's any help. Made in France, so yeah, it probably was my little box. But so good, so good. It just makes you think of tropical flowers and lays. Really nice. And it feels really nice on the skin as well. Um, I have to say that was a pretty good box. Um, I've been a bit up and down since I really started resubscribing to Birchbox. Um, some things I've loved, some things I'm still, still disappointed about not getting the show beauty product a few months ago. But I have to say, by and large, that is good. Good opportunity to try the Nip and Fab Skin Care. Um, these two products probably don't wow me. That because I think I've tried it already, and that because face scrub really, I really, I'm a bit saturated with skincare at the minute. But that I love. That I'm really interested to try. And as I say, the Nip and Fab Skin Case, so, and I love the outer box and obviously the Borden vouchers there as well. So I'll go and have a look and see if they do what they actually sell in this print. But um, yeah, that, that wasn't actually a bad box from Birch Box this month. I quite like that. Um, yeah, that smells so good. So love the box as well. So yeah, pretty much, yeah, virgin on the plus this month from Birch Box. Um, so let me know what you think of this box. Let me know if you've got anything different in yours, if you've got it already. Um, I am posting this the day everyone seems to be getting them, so this might be a spoiler. So, sorry. <laughs> um, I know I'll do what people are nosy and do like to see what's in the boxes though. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. You can find out more about Birchbox below. And again, I'll do a full list of the products that are in this and the sizes. Um, because as I say there's a couple of things that particular powder I'm not sure if that is a full size so I will double check on that and I will state if it is a full size or what they say um, yeah so let me know your thoughts don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to check my blog out as well I, um, I've been a bit quiet on the blog lately but I've been back posting a couple of new posts lately so by all means check that out I'll link below and what else can I say apart from have a lovely weekend? If you're in the UK, the sun is actually shining for a change and we're supposed to go and have a nice weekend before the weather turns back to snow. Yeah, I saw that weather forecast and I was like, no, it's tw it's supposed to be 20 degrees tomorrow. It's not going to snow next week and apparently it might for Easter. So that's a bit scary. But anyway, enjoy the sun while it's here and I will see you very, very, very soon with another video, which will probably be a glossy box unboxing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.